Aloha, my name is Kiki Malong, and I'm a resident here in Makiki. I live in this um, I'm uh, one of the co-organizers for the current La Hoyohoyea celebration that happens every year in Thomas Square. Um, since occupation, when the, the holiday was banned, um, the, the rebirth of that holiday has been a grassroots movement for over 20 years now. Um, I'm a descendant of um, Hawaiian Kingdom citizens, both on my Hawaiian side and on my Haole side, and this park is very dear to me for this reason. I understand that it's frustrating um, that we can't get past the issue of homelessness at this um, discussion on the future of Thomas Square, but it's because everybody in here knows that this is just a facade conversation to cover up the issue of the problem of homelessness and, and the problem of the way that the city and county of Honolulu deals with the issue. So it's embarrassing. Above Kanaka Maui, I'm a conscientious human being and I feel ashamed. I was raised in the diaspora in Seattle. I feel ashamed of the way that this city treats homeless people. <laughs> yes. I keep in mind that we occupy, they're cool cats. I met them, I talked with them, go talk to them. They're not harmful, they're not desecrating anything. But they're not the only homeless people in Hawaii. Lots of Kanaka Maui are homeless too, and others. Homelessness, Thomas Square is a symbol of sovereignty. Homelessness is a symptom of occupation, okay? So, that's why we can't get past this conversation. That's really what this discussion is all about. Pink hibiscus, a new symbol for the problem of the city and county of Honolulu, the inability to deal with these issues. So again, I heard uh, issues of homelessness. The point was bringing out like this is representation, representing something much bigger. And also, the question is how the park um, serves the, the the big um, the restoration day. Um, how do how does that what does that look like? Covering up the